official diagnosis was mast cell activation syndrome, um, just overproduction of histamine, allergic to basically breathing and being alive. I was down to eating cabbage, mushrooms, and onions. Now being part of Transform and getting my digestion in line, I now only have like two things for me to avoid. When I was able to realize that this was histamine intolerance and that that's what I was reacting to, the heart palpitations are part of that. Those have been completely gone. Leg pain, that's gone. I mean, I just went to San Francisco and we went on like four to six hour hikes every single day. The fact that I can do these things is, is just amazing. You mentioned that you couldn't even be around outside because you were allergic to weeds so badly. Oh, now I can be out there working for hours and yeah. I'm fine. I was out there for two or three hours today earlier and I'm just fine. My first week I got off of the PPI and last week I was able to switch um, and get off of Claritin, replacing it with Digestin, the probiotics, I felt much better. I came into the program with six plus diagnoses, uh, but the mast cell activation was the big one. I'd been in the ER six times with hives and uh, anaphylaxis. I have not had a single ER visit, nor even a single hive since three weeks into the program. My diagnosis originally was long COVID, which caused dysautonomia, mast cell activation, chronic fatigue syndrome, and borderline left ventricle heart failure but I had a lot of wind this week. I haven't had a migraine in six weeks. I've been off my migraine meds fully for a week now and still no migraines. This is Dana, what, two years ago? Yes, two years ago. You were dealing with symptoms related to POTS, mast cell, yeah. no periods, like you said, storing cystic acne. Okay, this is Dana now. <laughs> this is dramatic transformation, Just Dana. a bit. Now I am feeling rejuvenated and so, so much more confidence and my life in general has just become so much more enjoyable because of this program. To learn more about mast cell activation syndrome, histamine intolerance, or any allergic related reaction, comment in the comment section below, mast cell help.